Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Guess what we got here, guys? We got some uh, T-Mobile CBRS, guys. You heard this correct, T-Mobile CBRS. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it load a speed test real quick so you guys can see. So we got band 66, 15 megahertz. Uh, oh, we got band 46, 20 megahertz. Well, we did have some CBRS here, but I don't know. I guess it turns off after a certain time. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see what speeds came out of that. 252 down. And 35.3 on the up. Hold on, let's check here real quick because I was connected to CBRS. Oh, it's because it connected to five to 5G. Oh, God. Hold on, guys. Let me uh, clear this out real quick. On an LTE only connection, it will do CBRS. There you go. Band 48, CBRS. Three, three CBRS connections, guys. All right, let's speed test this bad boy. CBRS, baby. 25 pink six jitter and there you guys go cbrs action from t-mobile band 66 15 megahertz and a 60 megahertz of band 48 513 down doing way better than n41 guys this is way better than n41 as n41 won't even get close to this at these hours with 60 megahertz and then 20 megahertz of PCS and 15 megahertz of AWS 3. There you go, 513 by 36.5. We'll do another test here, guys. T-Mobile CBRS, baby. 28 ping, two jitter. Look at that. Okay, we're looking at 549 down. And this is here right on the corner of Oki and Maryland Parkway. Oki and Maryland Parkway. Good home, good home internet area right here, I would say. Just because you can have an LTE home internet modem and have these great speeds right here on 60 megahertz of CBRS with 15 megahertz of uh, AWS 3. So this is literally 75 megahertz of spectrum smoking n41 all right guys let me go to another area because there's more cbrs around here and i'll be right back all right guys here's another cbrs for t-mobile so as you can see the connection 20 2020 then 15 75 megahertz again all right let's test this Twenty ping, seven jitter. See, we point it right at the CBRS. It gets better. You got to point it right at the node. Oh, look at what we got here, guys. We got a little kitty. He just walking the street. Kitty, 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 kitty. All right, so we got five hundred down. And 37.8 on the upload. We'll do another test. This area right here, they got a lot of CBRs for T-Bubble. So 24 ping, 14 jitter. So there you go. So let's see if we turn around, guys. Oh, it drops. T-Mobile has a directional. So 430 down. and 35.6 on the upload guys we're gonna do uh i think there's some more going up this way we're here by the stratosphere and then i know there's some uh verizon millimeter wave too so we'll go test that we'll be right back hey guys uh we're back here's some t-mobile laa let's see here so we got 40 megahertz of band 46 15 of two and 15 to 66, so 70 megahertz. Let's see what 70 megahertz does. 22 ping, seven jitter. Five hundred and two down. Uh, 
by 34.3 on the upload let's do another test guys this is actually really good for laa all this is way better guys than n41 it's been here uh, i'll do some n41 tests here in a sec you know like once i get to an area where it has it because they don't have it right here but this is all way better than n41 right here at least for my experience so 5 547 down with 18 ping 9 jitter and 33.5 on the upload and it's the same thing span 66 15 46 46 and 2 so 70 megahertz total spectrum right here which is actually not bad at all this is really good all right guys so let me go to another spot and i'll be right back we'll see if it's either going to be verizon or t-mobile will continue testing all right guys here's a millimeter wave node right here as you can see all right let's test it out Six ping, two point six jitter, and I think we're a little bit too close, guys. Nope. Let's see here, let's go this way. Nineteen twenty four down. One ninety one on the upload. Let's test again. Let's actually gap a little bit more distance. 7 ping, 2.2 jitter. There we go on the speeds. There we go. For 400 megahertz channel, it's not bad. So 2182 down. And 192 on the upload, guys. Yep, so I think there's a little bit more millimeter wave around here. We'll go check it out which is a good candidate here for home 5G. You know, most likely Cox doesn't even have a good setup here. And look, you got a school right here that literally has millimeter wave access. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's go uh, to another spot here and we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the last stop right here. Here's another new millimeter wave node. Seven ping, 0.05 jitter. And they just put these up, guys, so they're not going to be fully tuned yet, full capacity. You know, we're just getting them going. You know how Verizon does it, gets it going, and then they fine-tune it, you know, within a week. We'll go check up back on it in a week or two, and, you know, we'll see it go to, like, 3 gigs and, you know, 100-something up. So 2098 down, 58.1 on the upload. Let's do one more test, and then that's it, guys. We give you some... Some T-Mobile and Verizon speed test, and then tomorrow we'll do some AT&T and FirstNet. Yeah, I can say that. AT&T and FirstNet, why not? Twenty seventy-five on the down with a seven ping, one point five jitter, and a sixty-seven on the upload, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate everything. Remember to check in the links down below. We got Los Mobile, we're growing fast. Get yourself in that in that good QCI on the Death Star Network. You know, you won't regret it, true unlimited. All right guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for tuning in, I appreciate everything you guys and have a great one, peace.